Thank you, President. This is a joint statement. While Canada is often seen as a beacon of diversity and inclusion, the lack of recognized efforts for legislative changes concerning people of African descent, the youngest demographic in the nation, stands in stark contrast to this image. As reported in the J9 submission to the UPR, titled Anti-Black Racism in Quebec Report, there have been extensive accounts of discrimination experienced by Afro-descended persons in Quebec, its French province with the second largest black population in Canada. This form of racism is visible in all areas of society, but especially in the laws, policies, programs, decisions, and practices of the governments of Quebec and Canada. It violates numerous international human rights treaties to which Canada is bound. The troubling experiences of individuals, including human rights defenders like myself, facing backlash for challenging the use of derogatory language by Caucasian media professionals on the public broadcasters' French service, L. Jones unjustly barred from the Supreme Court of Canada for her advocacy, Sarah Jama, who endured severe political and personal repercussions for her peaceful stance on Gaza, and a veteran black immigration commissioner in Montreal, dismissed for exposing undue interference and asylum decisions, all exemplify a concerning pattern where voices upholding principles of justice, equity, and human dignity face silencing, ridicule, or punitive actions in a country with the weakest protection for whistleblowers. An array of themes emerges from the 332 recommendations Canada receive, with many echoing the demands in the JS9 report. We urge Canada to abide by its obligations under international law and stop using its constitutional framework and invoking jurisdictional competencies as an excuse to delay justice to victims of human rights violations. In particular, we urge Canada to recognize people of African descent as a distinct group in the Canadian Constitution and other legal and regulatory frameworks with robust compliance mechanism. Appoint an independent Black Equity Commissioner. Apply the recommendations from the Senatorial Report on Forced Sterilizations of Women, as well as Senatorial Report on Anti-Black Racism, Sexism, and Systemic Dis Discrimination in the Canadian Human Rights Commission, and the recommendations of the Correctional Investigators Office. Make official information about the implementation of UPR recommendations accessible to the public and communicated to the Parliament. We thank you.